It's not about me. It's about us. It's been written. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm still deep in the trenches of the COVID years. You never know whether you got a smoker's cough or you're about to kill a bunch of people in the gas station with your presence. Talking about COVID. See, we've forgotten about COVID a little bit because everybody's killing each other all of a sudden as if the COVID can't do it fast enough. Mm. Nietzsche. You realize so much of what Hitler took from Nietzsche was based on things that his sister had taken out of his writings, his notes. He didn't publish these things. These things were never to be published. But sometimes when you're writing things down or you're thinking thoughts process and you go, <clears throat> I'll write that down then. You're seeing things. And so you put things down and she took that, the stuff, his ideas of humanity that could be easily fucking turned into tyranny. Whereas he had no sense of it, he was just trying to chronicle this. It's a strange thing to chronicle something into the future, isn't it? He was chronicling these things. His sister took him. And Hitler even attended Hit, uh, Nietzsche's sister's funeral because he adored her so much. She gave him everything he needed. that Ava Braun couldn't. So he had things that he said. And it, we're, we're just getting into this. The point is, there are people that say things sometimes or write things that nobody's ever supposed to see. And if I'm with somebody, they see it all. They need to understand that these are things that this is not a disclaimer I'm just explaining the way it goes there are things that nobody's supposed to see and Nietzsche said some of them that they weren't supposed to be seen and look what happened with them when somebody got a hold of them and you think people are just erratic spouting shit out He's telling us what we are. Not what he wants to be. Not what he wants us to be. What we are. And he keeps that to himself. And it takes me to me. Miss Beach telling me in ninth, tenth grade if you would just think for two seconds before you open your mouth, you wouldn't look so stupid all the time. And I took that to heart. She said it in front of everybody. It must have meant something. I said, okay. And I tried it, but it fucked up my timing. So I went back to just blurting shit out. You know, it's like, is that 
acceptable? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ramrod! Joke passed. And the thing is, you think people don't have filters? You don't think I have a filter? I've been accused of that many times, but you have no idea how many things I think that I just don't say. There are things even Victoria doesn't know. They come out and it's like, no, it's too raw. It's, it's too easily misunderstood. So I keep them to myself. And it's a perfect example. Just today, just recently, I thought, well, if we want to have gun control, we're going to need people standing against it. And we're good. they're going to need donations. They're going to need money. And what? better way to make money for them because we're all broke now right and that's what they say we're still doing pretty well we're just trying not to get the point of what broke really is when they're coming and visiting us and fucking our women and the women don't have money and they wear gowns and they fuck the husband while the wife holds her hand. What a fun place to visit. Is Disneyland still open? We take these things. We say, okay. You want to support gun control, gun control, then send us your money. And I think it terribly, we'll just take your guns and sell them to the kid on the street. And the money you make from selling your guns, you can donate to the people that are trying to get them off the street. And you just sit back and you watch and see who wins. This is an example of one of these things I do not talk about because I do not want to put ideas into people's heads. This is, this is an idea of how twisted people are. People buy into this shit. They're supposed to be seeing it as somebody that they don't want to be. Let's see who wins. You take a look at the neighbors who are very into keeping their guns and see what happens when uh, when they start attacking the neighbors who don't want them. Well, you don't realize this is the thing. You never know the guy next door. Rambo would have done very well against you if you wanted to come at him with a gun. In the movie, Rambo died, I hate to tell you. But there would have never been any sequels if they'd have followed the book. First Blood, read it in one night, just so enthralling. But you remember, Rambo doesn't give a shit about your guns.